Hi guys, it's Rihanna the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 84 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to surprise yourself. Okay, as you may attempt it, let's just dive right in. So we know that t is the total amount of x plus y, where x is the sports or something like that, and y is movies or something like that <laughs> but anyways and we actually and then also we have to make sure we multiply by 100 because it's of 100 people 100 people but we can first find the mean of x plus y or mean of t mean of t is equal to 50 plus 20 which is equal to 70 but for mean of t star where t star is for 100 people this is equal to 70 times 100, and we're allowed to just do this because they say this is independent. So this is equal to 7,000. We know that because it's 100, which is greater than 20, we cannot actually apply the central limit theorem. So that means we need a standard deviation. We don't know what standard deviation is, but we do know the variance of x plus y is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y plus the two times the covariance of x and y. Okay, so then we don't know what variance of, oh, yes we do, variance of x is 50, variance of y is 30, and then 2 times covariance, which is 2 times 10, so this is equal to 100. This is technically equal to the variance of t, right? But we need the variance of t star, where t star is equal to 100 people, so we just have to multiply this by 100, so this is equal to 1,000. Standard deviation of t star is equal to the square root of variance of t star, which is equal to, right here, it's, this is equal to 100. Alright, so I think we're ready to rock and roll. So the probability that t, technically this is t star in our definition, is less than 7100 is equal to the probability, normalizing it, t star minus mean star divided by standard deviation star is less than 7100 minus the mean which is 7000 divided by the standard deviation here 100 so then this is the definition z probability that z is less than 1 all right so then we can just look at our z table and see what this value is so that corresponds to 0.8413 which is our answer b if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!